Hello everyone, I'm Yasuhiro Oki from the Institute for Chemical Research. First, let me share with you our research study. Our study focuses on cluster complexes or simply clusters, which contain multiple metal atoms and organic groups. Using various elements from the periodic table, we aim to create potential catalysts and functional materials. Energy conversion is one of our interests. The Haber-Bosch process converts nitrogen and hydrogen into ammonia, but uses about 2% of humanity's energy. Hydrogen is produced from methane and carbon monoxide, leading to 300 million tons of CO2 emissions annually. To reduce energy and emissions, can we find biological systems for inspirations? Yes, we know the enzymes to convert nitrogen into ammonia and CO2 back to carbon monoxide. This is a resume, and its roots have nodules, which contain bacteria. These bacteria contain an enzyme protein, and it has a small portion with multiple metals and sulfur atoms, known as the active sites. This structure looks quite complicated, and even scientists are still wondering how it works. We have speculated on how nitrogen binds to it, but it's still complicated. So we simplified and cut into half and designed our cubic metal sulfur clusters. Our clusters reduced nitrogen, and it was a breakthrough and published in Nature. Speaking of nitrogen reduction, you know the enzyme and the Haber-Bosch process. Their reaction conditions and mechanisms are different, however, they commonly use multiple iron atoms and bridging hydrogen atoms. With these components, we synthesized molecular entities and demonstrated nitrogen reduction. So we can learn from enzymes and industrial catalysts to develop new approaches. We are expanding our chemical synthesis to discover new and beautiful clusters like these, ranging up to 1 nanometer in size. They feature various structures from planar to octahedral and isohedral, opening up a new field of science. Overall, our clusters are between small metal complexes and large nanoparticles, and their properties change dramatically with size and structure. Our research will uncover new compounds, reactivities, and properties, making this an exciting area of research. Here I show our daily research activities, design synthesis, characterization, and testing to prove our hypothesis. Then we devise our design and hypothesis based on the outcome. Let's see further details. The design and synthesis of our clusters begin with ideas or hypotheses by considering literature knowledge and our past experiences. Compounds we synthesize are typically air sensitive, so we usually use strength techniques. We often use fume food as well. We also use glove boxes to handle and store super air sensitive compounds without special care. Crystallographic analysis is a powerful tool for characterizing our clusters. X-ray radiation to single crystals results in diffractions, and computer analysis provides three-dimensional structures. In this case, blue atoms are iron, orange atoms are phosphorus, and gray atoms are carbon. We hope such unexplored compounds to be game-changing molecules. We often use our clusters as catalysts for the reduction of nitrogen or CO2. We run the reaction and analyze by measurements. Then we evaluate our compounds and feedback for the next ideas. Now let me tell you about our group. Our group is moderate in size with 10 to 15 members. Such a chalk talk often happens and we can come up with a new ideas. In the students' room, we talk not only about research, but also about daily topics like football games and YouTube videos. Also, we occasionally celebrate when something good happens, like this Nature Congress party. 
Such research activities were possible through collaborations, and we have various international and domestic collaborators. One of them is Professor Samira. Over the past years, Professor Oki and I collaborate in a number of projects, and we've been using state-of-the-art computational methods to understand complex molecular systems and their properties. Professor Oki Group is very international, and it is a friendly atmosphere, and this is an ideal place if you want to advance your studies. We have accepted excellent international students who are eligible for scholarships. They are active in daily life, research studies, and sometimes their activities were highly evaluated as a student award and even as research papers. In closing, I extend a warm welcome to highly dedicated students. Our group is a fantastic platform for your future, and Japanese students are happy to have you here. Thank you for watching.